So I am very shy. I suffer from social anxiety. I'm hoping that vape, I'm vaping CBD oil. Um, okay, stop. Uh, we got to stop because I, I'm vaping and I, I, my, 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 my close friends know this. So, of course, you don't. Um, no, I can't. We just, we save everything for it. But, yeah, I, I went through that whole social anxiety, SAD uh, thing. Like, par- just not paranoid, but just, you know, uh, almost like a panic attack, all these things. And people will call me with their issues and their problems that they think are so unique. And I'm like, well, you're not weird. You're not unusual. Uh, th- these are normal things. But people go, you? How could you suffer from social? I go, I'll, I tell you. So they were like, how do you get? How did you get rid of it? I go, I don't know if it's gone, but it just like went away. It just like I just, it, you know, I just sort of got rid of it. But you talked about the vape. You talked about the secret. My secret was, um, what the what the bleep do you know? Two objects, two electrons created together are entangled. Send one to the other side of the universe. Now, do something to one, and the other responds instantly. Instantly. So, either information is traveling infinitely fast, or, in reality, they are still connected. Which yeah, that's the, the deep, next deep. level. That's like the deeper quantum physics I, level of I the thought secret. the secret was sort of like the next level because when I when I started to look at the secret, uh, no. I was like, okay, I'm done. I, I think I'll stop here. But I'm to this day fascinated by what the bleep do we know, and then I even understand it more now. Not so much because of what people think are the weird shit, but because of the the foundation of the quantum. Because right. every scientist and the, and his brother or her brother. Um, <laughs> talks about quantum mechanics and all these things and whether or not we're in a simulation and we can go off into the down the rabbit hole. Right, and I would advise anybody who's listening to us to just, just dabble in both those things, man. Maybe yeah. smoke up and watch it. I don't know what your thing is, but I mean, if you want to go that way, check just check it out. See if it, see if it resonates. If it doesn't, walk away. Like I, it's all what works for you. And like I said, I'm, I'm not done with my social anxiety. I think it's getting worse as I get older. I did a bit on stage where I was mm-hmm. working on a bit on stage that I went out to get salad dressing for my wife. I had a panic attack when I got to the store. I could not mm-hmm. pick out salad dressing. I could not pick out salad dressing. I had to walk outside, gather myself. I'm not doing my bit. I'm not doing the, I'm not doing my lame yeah. ass bit for you on this podcast. I actually had to go outside, gather myself, go back at, back inside to try again to purchase uh, salad dressing. Could not do it. Left without the salad dressing. But what Came was home the, with no. What was the uh, motivation? Was, I don't know what. I don't know what sparked the people that around you. Yeah. I don't know what sparked the uh, anxiety, but it was based on this. Way too many choices. I don't know what salad dressing is mine. Why does Paul Newman have his own? And then it just it just grows from there. And you're like, are other people looking at me? Am I am I starting to look weird? Uh, yeah, sitting that, here. That was mine. That was mine. It, w- it wouldn't be so much the salad dressing, even though I've never had that experience. Um, so well, that's know, what's too- funny about it, though. To have a panic attack, it's hysterical. It, but it's like that. Oh, it's understandable that's crazy. for that's anyone crazy. who knows that's that. Salad dressing? Seriously, you can't pick out salad dressing? Well, because so, you don't you don't know if you're doing it right. You're looking at other people. Just here's mine, and here, the, look, the reason you're a good comic and everything else is because you think about shit, and that and so all you're doing is sort of funneling that SA energy into something positive, right? But most people don't think about salad. They just do it because no one is taught this stuff, right? The only things you're taught are. Yeah, this is going to be your religion. Do you believe in evolution? Um, no. What do you believe? That God created the world. Who told you that? Um, my This parents. is where you're going to school. You know, all that sort of life stuff, those tasks. But no one says, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to go get salad dressing. So people who think like you, who are active in their thoughts, they're like, how do I do this? Do I get it right? You know, I don't know how to shop, right? Some lady comes by, some dude grabs something, you know, all confident. I know what I'm doing. He has kids. And you're like, I don't, I'm clueless. They've got some kind of education that I don't have. And you start thinking, panicking, am I doing, do I look right? Am I looking weird? Am I, so 
I, so the I, other thing is I feel like I feel like vape and marijuana and stuff is, is trying to keep yourself in a certain vibe. So when people say, oh, that guy smokes yeah. too much, he's trying to keep himself in a certain vibe that he enjoys. You know, I don't know when my panic attacks or social anxiety is going to kick in. Sometimes I'm great. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'll go to the grocery store and I'm like, I guess I just got to get out of here. I just can't. I can't stay in here. So no shopping gets done. I just go, nope, can't do it. Yeah. And I leave. Run. So it's, I can't even power through a grocery store, you know? So, and again, the other funny thing about me is I'm not a foodie. And maybe if I did smoke up, I, I would be a foodie because I know that's yeah. a big thing about smoking and eating. But again, I right now, just so the world knows, I'm only dabbling in CBD uh, vape since January 1st. I, 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 Cause I cannot tell you whether I'm doing something else due to, due to the ramifications that might come along with it. But I'm definitely telling you that I'm smoking CBD and I've had the same pod since uh, New Year's Eve. So who knows if it's even doing yeah. anything, if it's and just a, a pseudo effect. I would love to, that's a whole nother story that I would love to get into.